Oklahoma, who uh, is part of the Leonard Peltier Defense Fund, and he came here. This, he's here this week for a week to fast in front of the White House uh, to bring attention to. I'm going to say it: the injustice that has been dealt to Leonard Peltier by the United States government. So let's get a little music, then we get Ben back on the phone. Yes. I just told everybody who you are and why you're here. Um, tell us what you're going to be doing, Ben. Well, starting tomorrow, I'm going to do a seven-day fast. You know, it's not a hunger strike. Cause I'm not here to make demands, but I'm here in hopes that Obama will meet with us as far as the fan with Leonard, for Leonard Peltier. Because most everybody knows that he's been incarcerated for over 33 years for something the government admits that he, they cannot prove he did. And even as recent as his uh, pro hearing in the July, we got the word on August 28th that his pro was denied. And they based their denial on that he committed, as well, he's incarcerated and that he had killed these agents and never expressed remorse. All those claims are fraudulent. But we, we have court records to show that he was acquitted of armed robbery and assault on a correctional officer, which they claim. Mm-hmm. We also have the court records in which the prosecutor who tried him in his original trial later admitted that he cannot prove who killed the agents. The Leonard was there, so he's just as guilty. And this has been a case that's been going on for more than 33 years. And all this time, you know, we have made a block a block wall every time we turn around trying to get clemency for Leonard. Clinton was our last hope, and when he left office, he had said he would sign clemency, but, you know, everybody knows he did not do that. Mm-hmm. And Leonard Peltier has a birthday coming up on September 12th, in which he will turn 65 years old. And a year ago, we made part of our promise to Leonard that we're going to do all that we can to have him home by his birthday. And that doesn't seem like a reality, but that doesn't mean that we quit or slow down. And, you know, we we issued this notice to everyone, and our notice was that the Sundance chief is going to uh, Washington, D.C., and fast for seven days in hopes of meeting with Obama. Mm-hmm. And what I'm doing, we're not doing our ceremonial fast in the ways that we do it. This is a purely a personal fast of my own. Mm-hmm. And also, when I had public announcing who I am, because, you know, a Sunday chief in English language would be the same as a priest, mm-hmm. same as a holy man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if the Dalai Lama came to ask for a meeting with Obama, I'm sure Obama would grant that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I would hope that I would have the same, you know, courtesy offered to me. Well, but, you know, I arrived at the White House this afternoon, you know, to see how things looked, and I wasn't there about five or ten minutes before I was approached by Secret Service, who wanted to know why I was there. Mm-hmm. My ID, so I told them who I was and why I was there, and what I'd hoped to do. Mm-hmm. And they had advised me that, well, chances are you have a felony conviction. You're not going to meet with Obama, but you know, go ahead and do what you're going to do. And that's what I'm, I am here to do is, you know, we need to focus this whole, all of our social movements, whether, you know, it's against nukes and immigration, whatever issues that we all, you know, campaign for. Mm-hmm. You know, if we cannot free one innocent man, you know, what are the real hopes of all these other movements having some form of success? So I'm hoping that every day that I can put out a message and share with, you know, social justice movements across this country of how this is all connected to health here. Why we should join together. I'm also putting out word through South Central America and Mexico of what we're doing here. Mm-hmm. I had traveled to Columbus some years ago, and they told us, you know, they have a lot of problems, but it all comes from Washington, D.C. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you this. Is there a website or something that people can go to to get more information? Yeah, the official website for the Defense Committee is www.whoisleonardpeltier.info. Give, and, that, give that out again, then www.whoisleonardpeltier.info And you spell... Peltier is spelled P-E-L-T-I-E-R. Okay. Ben, thank you so much for coming on tonight. And uh, I'll be following the activities and what's going on along with uh, my staff and a lot of other people that are interested in justice in America. And thank you for coming out here from Oklahoma, Colorado to do this. Well, I appreciate it, and I would encourage all the listeners to come by and visit with me at the White House. I know I'll we'll be there throughout the day, but I believe in the evenings people want me to come and attend events or come and speak to their group. Mm-hmm. I'll be doing all I can over the course of the next week. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you soon, brother. 
All right. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. All right. We got one minute left, and I just want to.